Programming made possible by Visit Lex, Horse Capital of the World. Hello, I'm Molly Wellman, and we're here at Old Kentucky Bourbon Bar in beautiful Covington, Kentucky. Today, I'm gonna to make you a Manhattan. Manhattan is one of my most favorite drinks to make. In fact, it's one of the first cocktails I learned how to make. But we're gonna start by chilling the glass with some ice cubes. Ooh. And then what I like to do, this is a secret, is I like to just wash the glass with just a little bit of dry vermouth. The history of the Manhattan has many different stories, but the one I particularly like takes place in the 1870s. In Manhattan, of course, uh, there was a party being thrown for a guy named Samuel J. Tilden. Samuel J. Tilden was running for president, and at the time, he thought he totally had the presidency. We're gonna do about two and a half ounces. It's been one of those days. He didn't win, but the Manhattan certainly did. We still enjoy them today. And then we're going to use some sweet vermouth, a good quality sweet vermouth, and make sure that it's fresh and has been kept in the refrigerator. All right, about a half ounce to that. And then the, one of the most important parts of this are bitters. So we have these beautiful spiced cherry bitters, uh, just a few dashes in there. And then we're going to stir this drink. So add your ice, and then a good bar spoon. Back in the 1870s, in the East Coast of you know the East Coast of, of America and New York and whatnot, rye whiskey was extremely popular. You would be using rye in most of these drinks. But once you started traveling to this area, into any part of Kentucky and kind of further on down the you know the river, uh, you would be using more bourbon because bourbon was what was being made in this area. You know there was a higher concentration of corn being grown and then made into whiskey. Then we're going to discard the ice, drain the uh, Manhattan into the chilled and seasoned cocktail glass. Next, let's garnish it with a cherry. You can garnish it with a cherry or a little uh, zest of orange, but there you have it. Perfect, lovely Manhattan.